How are we doing? Never good. been better. Yeah. All right, yeah, good. Thanks. Sound. Happy New Year to it's you all. It's, it's, it's been a while. Like, Joe, we've not actually seen we've each other either. I've seen Tom on the front. A little chat, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Is it weird? I find it weird sometimes when you bump into someone in the back. It's like meeting someone for the first time again. <laughs> it's a bit like, all right, mate, you all right? Like, I, I, I saw Miles actually in the car. I did. You swore. You swore. You swore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw you in the car, didn't I? Yeah, we're on the yeah. thrilling content. Near, near, saw, near her upper. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, near her upper, that was I it. I saw Miles then, too. I turned the other way. Oh, Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, it's good that, isn't it? Um, nice, uh, we're nice all still w- friends. Nice wine red setup today. Red Thank wine, you. sorry. Claret. Mm. I, I, I mean, let's just go straight into something. Catheter. Plonk. I've got, um, I've got something that does hard, my... It's not hard, is it? Straight in. I've got straight in. I've got something that does my fucking head in. One. Pick which one you want. It's not hard or head in. I'm deciding. Side chaining. So, I have an it's not hard, is it? Please, go go forth. So, it was just before Christmas time, mm-hmm. and I was doing a bit of, you know, cleaning the kitchen, after I'd probably done some cooking, and um, I thought, you know the sink plug, which obviously... Collects. Uh, yeah, like, Detroit. the sink yeah. plug, it's fucking it is gr- what it is. Grim, isn't it? It. Grim yeah. Yeah. yeah, but obviously... You put it down, the sink fills up, you unplug it, it catches the shit. Everyone knows what the sink <laughs> I is. like how you explain it. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why, I've committed to explaining what it is now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I thought, I never really give that a full-on scrub, do you know what I mean? Mm. It's always clean. sat there. I wipe it, obviously, if there's food in there. I thought, I'll give it a... Don't give it like a bleach or something. Yeah, gungy. I was like, I'll take it, I'll, I'll pick it into my hand like this yeah. and scrub it, put a load of stuff on it. So I did that and I was like scrubbing it too vigorously and I pinged like the, the, the seal. mechanism that like the screw the screw kind of thing off the screw yeah. that's like the holder and also the screw yeah the screw that's the holder and also the screw mm-hmm. and I think I must have a, a piece that was key to putting it back together disappeared into the kitchen never to be it's seen either. again oh. so obviously I tried How? to like because it'd be like a little nut I probably know, gone I, under like I know this because my dad came on and rang me and was like Joe have you got a nut well I tried fixing it I've uh, got two <laughs> I tried fixing Cheers. it first fucking you to no avail you know what I mean I tried to put the mechanism back in you and me and then it just kept falling apart again because I was missing this screw thing yeah. piece rang my first part of, well my first part of call was Joe's dad because he's round ass sometimes so <laughs> Ian couldn't do it he was talking about gluing it and stuff I was like whoa yeah. analog <laughs> <laughs> he's a bit bodge my dad bless him he's good good bodge though so it showed it good Joe bodge, bad bodge. <laughs> Joe was like he's missing a it's missing the screw to hold it in place bad bodge so we were looking Sorry. for a, a screw of the same size and I thought I know where I'll do the screw of the same size. Howden's Oh, I, I thought you were going to say you and me. <laughs> no, I thought, I thought I'd go straight to the source. Do you know what I mean? I think we got it from Howden's, maybe. That makes a lot of sense. If anyone doesn't know, it's a kitchen place in Stockport. Others are available. But I don't think it's just Stockport. I think it's... Oh, is it? Oh, is it? I think so. Yeah. Oh, big time. Well, there's one in Stockport. <laughs> opposite where you used to live. Above it. Opposite the flat. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So I pulled in. Where you saw it, me? And it was... I think it might have even been the day before Christmas Eve... So everyone's feeling festive, aren't they? Do you know what Christmas I mean? Eve, Eve. Christmas spirit was in the air. Mm-hmm. So I walked in, quite sad, really, with my plug in my hand because I thought I'll <laughs> take the plug to show him. Three number one albums. <laughs> yeah. So I walked in. I was like, I've broke my, <laughs> I broke my plug. Do you have a part to like seal it back together? The young lad at the front came round, and obviously they've got show kitchens in there, aren't they? Like mm-hmm. just to show. Ready you. to roll. He, he brought. He picked the fresh plug out of the show kitchen sink. Out of the demo sink. Out of the demo sink, full working order. Just went, just have that, mate. And he just bodged my one into the, the show sink. Wow. And I went, oh, how much do I owe you? He went, nothing, mate, just have it. It's not hard, oh, is it? It's not hard, is it? It's not hard. Do you know what? That's a very good one. Well that. done, I know, well that's done, why I Howden's. thought I wanted to start off with that because it was, when it happened, I was like, this is classic. It's not hard, vintage. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, that is very good. People on the edge of the seats then as well. Yeah. I would be. <laughs> going, oh God, is he going to get the replacement? Not just the replacement. The whole thing for free. free. Did you have sink that. when you lost the screw? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. Fucking. <laughs> well done, Charlie. Let that Thank sink you. in. So, yeah, fast. there we go. Moving on. Um, I was good, that. I've nice. got... Um, Thank you. I've got something that does my fucking head in. Please. 
segment. Douche. Mm. Well, Miles say the whole experience was drained. Okay, drained. let's go. <laughs> you know what does my head in? Fucking you. Do you know what does my fucking head in? Please. And it really, really bugs me. And also, our tour manager, Wolfie, I've messaged him about this and he actually suggested that he, and I was like, I wanted to say that one for a while. When people don't say thank you when you let them go in your car. Uh, yeah. Does my fucking head in. I yeah. don't like that. It's just rude. Like, the, mm. like you know when you've actually like pulled right over and you're going, oh yeah, come in, or you let people in and they don't just go, thank you. I have some suggestions It's not on fucking this. hard. <laughs> Are you a not thank you? No, I'm a thank you, uh, but I, I've, I've realised that I've missed a thank you when Ooh. I've been in a rush or something. And then after yeah. I've drove off, I've gone, fuck, I didn't say thanks. Yeah. So I think yeah. maybe people do have explanations but, but, if they're, they're not thinking. When you know, if something's going on in their life, the last thing on your mind is thanks. But it's yeah, I think, I, I think it's, like, it's like it's almost... Um, but you've Second been driving nature. longer than me. Yeah, true, Some yeah. guy swore at me the other day. I went went for a walk <laughs> up a uh, Macclesfield for well, just like around the re- reservoirs and stuff near Mac Forest. And this guy in a like a camper van. Uh, I I I had blatant right of way along these parked cars because it's a bit chaotic around there. Isn't it, it is. I you know what you mean. mean. The pub this, on the left, and you're coming in. Yeah, mm. this guy just smoked me right up. Came in, and I was just going like. What are you doing? And he was going, fuck off. Like, like, <laughs> and, uh, and I was sat there, so I was like, okay. Have you ever been, um, have you ever been recognised in a in state a, of a, anger? A moment. <laughs> no. I have been on the phone. What do you mean? Oh, what, you've been barneying with the missus on the phone? No, then, no, no, I was oh. having a barney with the insurance company, car insurance, right? Was that? I remember that. You remember it in here? Yeah, I was yeah, like, I, I, was do, was like I will never recommend you to anyone. <laughs> my, my head was your jumper. That, yeah. that colour. <laughs> Yeah, you say your head, but <laughs> the woman, the advisor who was like speaking to me, she put me on hold, but I could still hear what was going on. Oh. So she was speaking to the rest of the call centre. She went, mm, we've got a little celebrity on the line now. Really? I, I, my blood went fucking sky high. I went, yeah. 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 I, celebrity. You do. What, what, hey. what list celebrity do you reckon we are? Zed. No, no, no. I reckon about <laughs> sub Z. I reckon F. You know, you know, you know F, after the alphabet F. and you, you reckon, get into characters. Reckon, the other question is, do you reckon Tom's one above us? Yes. yes, several. <laughs> Tom's E, we've, we're F. A, go, a good way, a good way, I love the F. Good way to level it. I, I'll yeah. see, we're in the lost property, aren't we? No, I was going to say, we're, we're after the alphabet when you get to like the pound sign or like the four <laughs> <shit. five>. Windings. <laughs> oh, windings, whatever it's called. Oh, so you're saying, maybe I me. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, what, what am I, closed you know what? bracket. <laughs> you two are the highest. And then it's us three, isn't it? Yeah. Me, yeah. I, I think I, well, I'm, yeah. I think I'm the lowest. No, no. no I even even for Instagram you followers, you've got... No, no it goes think, off that, but no, just just in the whole... Well, you paid uh, a few people in charge. <laughs> <laughs> I subscribed to Meta for my blue tick. But, no, I'm just kidding. Oh, I was going to say though. something then on that. What you? What were you talking about? Fame. No, you say... Oh, when you're, you're angry and you've got to recognise when you're angry. Oh, it's gone. I've, I've had a few moments. Thank mo- you, I've had a f- driving. I've had a few moments. No, oh, sorry... Th- I bumped into Clint Boone just after I'd failed my theory. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was fuming. Yeah. It was, it was like, a horrible hey, mate, how's it going? I was a bit like, I, I just got it out in the open. I went, I've just failed my theory, mate. That's I'm I'm a, bit a bit of a foul mood, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. But I was like, oh. all, Clint was like, oh, you're doing yeah. mate. And he was like, just feel fair. But he was like, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, fuck's sake. I remember but, I, I failed my theory and we were recording it at the studio, remember? When was it? Past uh, like, No. OG? OG. Wow. Like 10 years ago. Wow. And we were turning up and we were having to record and I'm like, should have been buzzing. I was just like, for fuck's sake. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's, a, it's a horrible feeling, isn't it? Yeah. It's always something really <laughs> stupid. That, mine was so stupid. Like my, mine was on that fucking thing where you have to click the, you know, what did they call it? Hazard perception. Oh, was it? Yeah. yeah. I did all right. That mine, oh. mine was external. I have some. <laughs> this is very boring. External mirrors that you clip on. What's the best way to see the back of a, uh, of a camper van? Mm. Oh, I see. What's the What's the most efficient and less hazardous thing to put on? And the options, f- f- multiple choice, isn't it? So I went, I thought, just the standard mirrors because surely sticking some on's more dangerous. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And it wasn't, it was, you should stick them on. Yeah, yeah, you uh, should do. It. Fucking... Anyway. Yeah. Related yeah. to driving and also going back to a section. Oh, wow. Two. It's one of the best scenes, this, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 
scraping the barrel with you should save these next week. Yeah. <laughs> no, I already am fucking shaping some. So failing the theory, I nearly failed my theory, but not by doing the test, by turning up without my ID. How oh. the fuck did you get around that? Oh shit. Then, well, I got there and I was in a rush. I was living in Comstall at the time, so it was yeah. a bit of a trek. And I like, missed the you? train from like the next available station. So I had to go to Stockport, got there. And it was like, right, you got your ID, S- sign the paper. I was like, no, I don't. They were like, we well, can't do it then. And I was like, no. I, I was like, you know, it's going to take me like another eight months. It was like just after COVID when yeah, it took like months and months of backlog, months yeah, of backlog yeah. and that. So she was like, what I'll do is, if you're back here in an hour, I'll slot you in because someone's cancelled. I was like, <sighs> boss, Ca- realise that, oh, wait a minute, it's rush hour. I don't have a car because I don't drive yet. Everything's mad. So I had to get in a taxi, pay him, like tip him an extra 20 quid, put in the location where I was living and then the second back. location oh, back. I remember this Ran now. in, got it, got in. Literally, it was like one minute past the hour. And I walked in and she sorted it out. Fair oh, pass. And I passed. There you go. That's a very Stressed. Good one. But I, I, I don't know what, 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 what this person did, but then there was someone as soon as I went in who got like declined. So I don't know if I filled a space in that somebody should have had. <laughs> but other declined. than that. But do you, do you know what I mean? For, yeah, for it's not hard, is it? I'm driving yeah. now. It's not hard, is it? Nice. That's a good one if anyone cares. Good oh. Do you know what? Yeah. I had, um, I failed my theory first time. Did you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I tapped too many times. Hard. Oh yeah, that's that's what I, I didn't did. Really, I didn't do the hazard perception very well. I didn't really understand it. I, I, was a bit like, I see. I really I got. Ta- that. I tapped too much. Thing is, because I was like, everything I, can be a risk. I think they were a bit mean? sketchy back in the day. Oh well, yeah. I'm. It was yeah, like, you're ten, like, 10 like ten over years, ten years yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah like, I watched a YouTube well, video. Well, Josh, I'm surprised you had hazard perception when you did your test. <laughs> well, hazard yeah, it was like it was wagon perception. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> horse perception. <laughs> fucking on fire today, mate. What happens if the wagon wheel falls off? You need a few weeks off every time. I think. What happens if a blacksmith runs in front of the? What? Lost it a bit. <laughs> um, Sorry, I, I know no one cares about this, but this is me in the bath the night before <laughs> doing the app where I answer every single possible question, 757 questions. <laughs> and look what I got. 745 out of 757. Jesus you're, that's Christ. That's so you though. Like when, when you put your mind Studying, to something, yeah. you're like... Do you know what? That's <laughs> first time I passed, I got, I, first time I failed, I got cocky. And did about 300 of them on the same app and thought, fuck it. And I failed by one. And I was like, oh. So the next time I did the miles thing and I did like did, did them all of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I passed it. I've, I, I pass all questions, like I say. Just my. Hmm. Funny you, old game, you, you beat Funny me, though, didn't you? Oh, in the. In the test, which annoys me now. I want to redo my test just to beat you. I'm so two compl- minors. I got three minors and I, I was always like, I'm proud two. of that. You, you on two as well? Two, yeah. Fuck it, I got three. It's been that long since mine, I can't remember. You didn't have miners when you did yours, did it? I think it was like <laughs> steady. <laughs> <laughs> what's everyone been up to then? What's what's life saying? I've been fucking painting, painting and climbing, fucking and painting. Climbing. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, Hello. but yeah, painting. I've been doing a lot of um, painting. Do you know what's annoying? It's the downstairs toilet. They've been painting. Yes, stinks. I've got downstairs toilet. <laughs> yeah, it does stink, doesn't it? The downstairs toilet. <laughs> but yeah, fuck me, painting it. It, it's, it's like a small yeah, it's it's, like a, oh, it's wooden panels well not much space to move around the paint I got it? right so I did it I got it and Sophia was like oh that's the paint colour I was like boss she went out to work and I fucking I painted overalls they're pretty proud of myself do you know what I mean I was like it's pretty thin this paint but I was like don't mind I'll be fine Sophia got back I was like well thin that wrong <laughs> I take the paint back and they're like, oh yeah, it's the wrong consistency. Cheers. Oh. Give me Did a new paint. Do you have to have like in. waterproof paint or something like that? Or like bathroom Water paint. Water resistant. For, for a bathroom, this is just a downstairs toilet, innit? Unless you're mm, planning like showering and stuff. Spraying the bog about it. <laughs> <laughs> just a toilet. Yeah, fair enough. Do you know what I mean? I get what you're saying though. But Sometimes no, the sink kind of can of splash water though. Mm. But obviously you normally have a splash bag. Mm. But fucking hell, what are you splashing the sink? Well, it depends how vigorously you're washing your hands. <laughs> Tom's got, to, 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 got big hands, a bit, very strong hands as well. Do you actually? I've got, I've got one of them. So, I've got one of them soaps that Chaz loves. Oh, oh the, the dildo soap. Yeah, the dildo. Oh, soap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's, What's this? What's the dildo it's like soap? It's, it's, it's like the bar. The, the bar soap. Sorry, the bar of soap is attached to the wall, and you have to it's, like masturbate it to get. Okay, the, oh wow! It's like a pretty, yeah. it's, it's okay, really yeah. old thing. That very old it's fashioned. Cool. I've always wanted one. Like an old hotel Sophia, thing. Sophia let me get it and then she, it arrived class. and she was like, what the fuck is that? It's class. She's like, it's well phallic. I was like, it's, 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 it's quite... I've never heard of this. It's quite man things. It's quite boring. Have you seen the boring man page on... Um, it's on a few things on Twitter no. or something. There's a boring man page. It's basically just a page that just talks about really boring things, but like for some reason they're quite interesting. The blokes like, are interested in. Cool. And one of them is like that. that I've never heard of that. Mm. 
Do you want to see jump to get up here? Yeah. Do you, do you ever remember that um, bar we went to in Brussels called Archie Duke? I took a picture of you in the bog, in the mirror. Yeah, Duke. the one... The, the... It had one there. Right. One of those, it's like soap shaped like a lemon. On a, on a on metal a, on bar. On a metal thing, you just rub it. I probably <laughs> thought, I'm not fucking rubbing that. <laughs> I've been washing my hands more recently, which I know is a stupid <laughs> thing to say. <laughs> no, I, I, actually, I actually have been washing my hands more. I bought some nice... I've never usually had any nice hand soap <laughs> that's downstairs. Why, that's why you've not been ill. Yeah, yeah, well, oh, fuck it. I was going to wash my hands and I said that. Yeah, but, um, what yeah, have you got? I've, Diptyque. I've, excuse me? No, his what? nice one's probably clean. <laughs> I've, no, I've just been washing my hands. I don't know where I'm going no, with what's this. What's your nice soap? Just bought it from Sainsbury's. Yeah, it's just something there. <laughs> I just, but nobody smells nice. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. A, it, 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 it was like black pepper and something. I'm going to get, I'm going to open your eyes some box soaps. It was fucking ch- yeah. chuck my way. You, this is not, I, I don't use shower gel. I use a bar of soap. Yeah, I use olive oil soap in a bar. Olive oil soap. It's good for like psoriasis and stuff. Yeah. I'm not a fan of soap. See, I, 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 I don't understand the shower gel thing. It's so much better. You can actually scrub your body with it. I you think get, it smells you, weird. You get a lather, proper what, lather. Again, what soaps are you using? Kate buys them. You need like a fucking boss soap. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but if it smells weird, that's that's not the that's not all soap. It's not me though. No, but I'm saying it's, it's soap comes in different smells. So you get, yeah, Kate, yeah, the scent. Hand me. That's what I mean. You could you could have had that soap. I'm not into that yeah. soap. But you I, could, don't, I don't like the texture of soap either. Is it what it is? It, it goes it through. It's like a weird. Feeling Residue. your hands and stuff. It's not for everyone, is it? Quite sensory. Yeah, I'm, I'm for happy. Well, love, people love use it because they're, they're allergic to a lot of things, don't they? I'm quite an allergic That's person. what I mean. Like, I'm luckily not allergic to like shower gel. So. You're not allergic to stuff like that. But, like, I've got, um, I'm allergic to nickel. Nickel. Nickel dermatitis. What does it, oh, does it go? Is, is, is that, yeah. I'm very yeah. allergic to like dust, though. Yeah, dust. You're, you're like a dust. respiratory allergy, uh, allergen yeah. kind of guy. Quite quite um, chucky from Rugrats. We're quite weak. Yeah, yeah. Quite yeah, weak, aren't we? That. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, a respiratory kind of guy. Um, I thought this episode anyway. Quickly, has anyone got any a few more sections? Should we should we put a bit of a uh, fan questions in? Thought we could do a few of them. I mean, I've asked how everyone's been doing, and no one. And I oh, think sorry. we just discussed you. Sorry. You, you no, know, I was going to discuss this because it's a big thing at the minute. Like, is anyone doing dry, John? Me. Yeah. Yeah. Are you you committed? For yeah. Because yeah. when we bumped into each other, I said the same thing, didn't I? You've done but it. I fell completely off. The know, I did think this. What date? Did well, you know, you sent this like, video of oh, easy. Oh that, yeah. was, that wasn't. That was four years ago. That was, was it. Like, it just popped up on my memory. Oh, where did you? Do, where did you get on the sauce then? The same place. Funnily enough, I just went to see my dad. It don't matter. Though, I had does a snooker. It? I was, and um, I had a snooker. I had a game of snooker, <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, it turned into several. Between well, eight and thirteen pints. It is what it is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You're not just going to wake up one day and just go and a drink and then go to a pub and then just like expect yourself but, to just be there. It's, I think, it, I think, it's, I think it's it's you want to do it. If, yeah. you, if you want to do it, I think it, my thing it. is a restraint on it. It's, it's proven that mm. to, to drink and then not drink and then drink and it's not drink is actually worse for your health. Like, should mm. really be only have one at the pub January. Oh, Joe's dry at the pub January. Ms O'Neill call it. Oh, damp January. Damp Jan. Damp Jan. Jan. Yeah. Why damp? If anything, it's the opposite, isn't it? It's no, not, no, it's not wet or dry. No, because it's it's not it's oh. not sodden and it's not dry. Ah, so so sodden, sodden's, sodden's like bladded. Sodden's bladded. <clears throat> yeah, and damp's, damp's like the odd tip. Up. D- oh, d- d- damp's moderate. Moderate. You yeah. see, damp jam's better. Like if you went, you know what? In like, say you have like, should be a damp. Say life. you have like four pints at the pub. Have one alcoholic. The rest none. Weirdly healthy for you. Yeah, yeah. Sort of. I've regulated it. Yeah, and I feel good for it. I feel a lot better for it. Yeah. I, I mm. think I'm going to carry on. You've not drank have you, miles for a while no. since. What time? What like time? October. Yeah. To be fair, that. it's just one of them, isn't it? It's just, yeah, it's it's interesting, isn't it? Do you actually yeah. feel better? Yeah, genuinely. Like, I, like, I, I actually some feel really quite, good. Like, I've got to the point now where I don't even think about it. Like, if I'm going out somewhere, I, I, I thought about it a little bit. I was at my mate's 30th last Saturday, last Friday, and I was like, ooh, have a few beers. But once I got there, I didn't think about it because I'm just, mm. like, enjoying the environment and stuff. You and know like, what I mean? better conversations. Yeah. Mm. Like, and also, yeah. you can drive home well fucking yeah. worth it. I felt mint going home by half 11. All the drama's happening. I'm like, see you in a bit. Yeah. You go mm. home. Um, I, I'd say I've not really, for the past few years, I've not really... You've got quite it's, good it's, control on it, different. though. Yeah, yeah, I like, don't. On tour and stuff, when we'd mm. all stay up to, like, three in the morning. Oh, yeah, I'd like, always you go would to go to bed, so... Yeah. I, I don't really drink. Each to their own, isn't it? Drinking's weird. I feel like there's a big culture now where a lot of people are saying it. Um, young people don't just don't drink. Loads of young people now. You know, like, when we were younger in school, it was like drinking. It was like it was yeah, like yeah. house parties. The biggest thing was trying to get drink on it. Even when you went to the park, it was like yeah, you need someone to go into the shop and get some beer. We, now people like young kids just go to the gym just, and just don't drink. Yeah, it's probably I think that, that, we were talking about this today because our parents' generation 
they they were very much in like pub culture, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I think that stemmed and bled into our. And then we joined the band. And then we joined the band. Which is like There's ultimate more scenario, scenario drink, isn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. like you turn up from. Well, have we discussed this before? Well, maybe we have. I don't know. But you turn up to a venue, don't you? From the off, even when you're not even big. Mm. There's beer, and, yeah. and that's and it's going for a shower at nine in the morning. Fucking hell, not for me. But you know what I'm saying. You get up, and then you just walk into the shower. Fucking oh, hell, you don't drink now, and you're still not up at nine in the morning. I, th- <laughs> I think you'll find. <laughs> you go in the. Fr- there's just a fridge down here with fifty beers, and you're like, ah, I'm gonna have to now, aren't I? Then yeah. you know what I mean. Not, no, not it's, them. Yeah. It's uh, a. Yeah. It's each their own. So, mm. Some people can drink and just like have a couple, and it, I think it does come with age and stuff because mm. it is like I don't know. It's kind of battered into your brain, especially I when you go like uni. It's like freshers get pissed, do that, and I, don't, I feel like it is dropping off slightly. I feel like anyway. I feel like you, you shouldn't judge anyone on what they want to do. No, no, exactly. If you have a few beers, fucking boss. Yeah, it, yeah, I think if it negatively affects your life, do you, do you think you'll mean? not drink yeah. ever again? Though? No, I don't think I'll. I don't think I'll never not drink again. Mm. But I think I'll go. Long. You, str- think- you struggle with the control, don't you? That's your thing. Like you can't just have a beer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no, I wouldn't say. Tr- the thing is, with me, I like drinking. The Irish in you. It's the Irish. It's the yeah. Irish. <laughs> but you do that thing, don't you? Where like you've said it to me, or you like you'll have like say like I'll have three beers and be like thing. When you've gone to three, you're like fuck it, I'm in. And you, yeah, you, and I mean, I, like, and the thing is, I don't have like negative. I'm not like a bad drunk. And I don't have no, like negative all. things that happen no. when I'm drunk. I actually have a good time and I laugh. It's the next day. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you feel like the doom yeah. and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. like the fallout is too I'm, much. I'm on that, I think. And I think when you've got a lot going on in your life, it's sometimes you go, yeah, I don't need that well, in man, there. And you get a bit old and you're just like, I'm sick of fucking being hungover half the week. Yeah. Yeah. I'm wasting my time, basically. So my yeah. thing, my thing was, that was my thing. Wasting my time. Thing, wasn't wasting it? My, time. <laughs> <laughs> that was my thing was uh, on tour. On tour is, is like, that's a good time to drink. You don't have the same guilt on tour. Mm. I mean, you wake up on a tour bus. You don't have to like. You don't have to get up, walk the dog, clean the house. Do you know what I mean? You can sort of wake up and go. You can stay in bed till three if you <laughs> want. Bit of a dream and, and world, isn't it? The only way to get rid, of, like everyone says, oh, this is the best way to get rid of a hangover. The best way to get rid of a hangover is fucking loads of sleep. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean like if you, if if, I, if I've had a f- loads of beers, if I've always had a boss sleep, I never wake up on the. Yeah, it's, it's only when you've got to wake up early, fucking yeah. early. Yeah. It's, <laughs> or I get woken. I up feel early. like um, people not drinking now is a bit more widely accepted than it would have been. Like. 10 years ago, oh, couple years ago. Oh, there's non-alcoholic beers. It's easy, it's easy yeah. to get involved. That, that's what yeah. I think it is. I think it's easy to get involved in things so you can still like... You know, there's not as much peer pressure to it as such anymore, which is good. No. I think a lot of it, it depends what you like. Like I'm the, I I actually would like drink... I could drink at home and watch the telly. Do you mm. know what I mean? I like the... like. It's cosy mm. to me. That, yeah. But it's, oh, it's not good. Do you know what I mean? Like You would never drink at home, would you really? No, I never. Well, me and Sphere went away, didn't we, Scotland? And I'm not doing dry, dry John, but I had like... You know, little stubby cans, like mm, three yeah, thirty yeah. men in the room. I had two of them and a pint at the whole time we were there. Mm. It's decent. I stopped nice. drinking at home. It's lovely pairing it with food, isn't it? I that's, think. That's, mm. that's, see, that's all I see. Cider. I see it as like pe- pe- cider as much. Just, said, I, like, love, I, love, I love having a beer watching the football at home, though. Do you know what? I've not. I'm. I'm, I'm not planning on doing this. But when was the last time you got pissed on cider? Oh, okay, that ages ago. It's you fucking niche, that, bon- isn't it? Bonnie's Park. Oh, niche is cider. I used to drink mean? cider. Do I? That, that man was like Bonnie's Park when I was like thinking never again. Strongbow, and oh. this is before yeah, Dark yeah, Fruits yeah. was in a can. Cider, black, you made like Dark Fruits. Yeah. I know, I just have like a can of Strongbow and with with, oh. a, with like a fucking rye bean. Oh, so you make it? Yeah. It was M- funny though, when Moonshine. we went to, me and Tom went to France to watch the Arctic Monkeys. 2011. Every, everyone was doing like, yeah, everyone was doing like lads' holidays, and me and Tom were like, I thought you were looking get... directly into the camera then when you were saying this. <laughs> no, <laughs> hey, I don't, don't want to go to fucking Malaga, do you know what I mean? Like, it's just not, I've had to me and Tom went to watch <clears throat> Arts and Mungsy, like, what? He was like, oh, what, Jack, it was a thousand cap venue. It was Mim, yeah, wasn't it? Was it? Tiny. it was what tiny. Was, what was the venue, do you remember? It was Zenith, but not oh, in Paris. It was in Con. It was in Con. It, it not, uh, not, not southern France, though, not Con. Like, it was like northern, yeah. Another one, yeah. It was the middle of fucking nowhere. Yeah, it was an amazing time, but. When we were going there, obviously I got like I create a lager because we got like a big train journey. Yeah, we were on the train. Oh, you did you do the Eurostar? Yeah, yeah Tom. Yeah. Tom got thingy. Tom got a crate of a cider. They obviously didn't have ribena in that. I think grenadine. It was like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like this is too sweet. <laughs> <laughs> cider sweet, cider anyway, and, and sugar with grenadine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. all your fucking cheetles will fall out. Yeah. <laughs> He's making making cider like grenadine. <laughs> I jumped that train. That train was mad, wasn't it? Yeah. I fell asleep on it. It was like a Harry Potter train. It had like little carriages. Carriage, like you know, inside the carriage, boss. The sweet, Shh. the sweet uh, thing on a carriage. Yeah, that's what I want. I had a, I had a holiday when I just had granadine. I was like seven, Spain or something like that, all inclusive. You get your little wristband on. You can go get what you want. <laughs> <laughs> can I please have? Can I please have a granadine? 
Granted. So is it the way of a... <laughs> no, it's just yeah, on I, I, I ordered about 10 of these per day. Granted in and Coke. Fucking hell. It was fucking... 10 a day? <laughs> well, I was just, it was just drinking what them. What you like? you fucked now? I know, yeah. <laughs> seven. Fucking hell. Yeah, so uh, that was good. Couldn't check, sleep. Check your pancreas. You know what I mean? Couldn't yeah. sleep. Yeah, so uh, it's, it's, that's about a, kilo, a kilogram of sugar, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? What, uh, what have you been up to, Miles? Have you been up to anything? Gaming? You, really, you like games, Gaming, don't you? What, what's been my doing? hot... What have, what have I been doing Is there now? any new games out? Like that? Gaming. Power Wash Simulator. Been playing a bit of that. Emily's been playing that. Power, power Wash. Power Wash Simulator. So that? instead of Power Wash in your own back garden? No, because I've done that and fucked up the fucking middle of my path, so I'm like, I'll just do it virtually. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> It's, let, quite, let it's, quite, it's quite relaxing because, because your mind's just on it and you're just like, it's quite, it's quite very OCD. Power wash simulator. Power wash simulator. Have you got a pressure washer? No. No, he borrowed mine. Borrowed his and, yeah. I need to borrow that. Fucking hell. No, I'm not, I've not really been, um, been, been gaming as no. such. Yeah, I've just been, uh, walking the dog. Walking Need to clean the dog. Teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. Sure. Just walk, Josh. You yeah. went to Amsterdam. I did go to Tommy Amsterdam. Tommy Harrison. Yeah, with Shut up. The, the most requested podcast guest, apparently. <laughs> really? um, Let's get him on. Yeah. By yeah, Junko. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, I went to Amsterdam for because Tommy Harrison had a, a solo show there. He's smashing it. He is. With, uh, <laughs> Sorry, solo show in Amsterdam just sounds like something else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, it wasn't sexual, it was painting. But yeah, uh, yeah with Grim Gallery, that was fucking great. And then what's well, amazing some of the stuff. Yeah, other than that, just been knocking about really. How's the gaff? Housework, yes, yeah, fine. Just, just like reality now, isn't it? You know, you're just sort of there, and you think, oh, <laughs> the pressure's gone on the boiler. <laughs> I like, quite, that sounds like I the quite like you do of your own more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, cozy like. Just co- cozy, isn't it? Just cutting about. Just yeah, well, it's just yeah, it's just, the dog, just, just existence. Nice. Just, um, just cracking on, really. Yeah, like I said. C- in, like not doing dry January, but I'm. It's damp January. I'm, I'm, damp Jan. I'm, I'm, I'm drinking the most healthily I have responsibly. I so yeah, it's good. Yes. Enjoying nice. it. Good, good man. But yeah, we're gonna, gonna join the gym. Gonna fucking for the wedding. I want to look. Oh, you want to look? I want to go action, man. You You'll see me there, man. I'm already pretty. Do you know what I mean? I'm all right. Thirty one. Mm. You're in good shape. Got abs. Do you, know what I mean? right. you don't want to go Mika Richards on the suit, though, do you? Nah, but I just want to look like he how's got, climb and lean, doesn't he? I want to look shit up. How's climb the wedding lean. planning climb going? And lean. That's a good physique. That yeah, oh, no, it is. Yeah. Physique, after. Mate, some yeah. some of the people who fucking climb like like seventy year old seventy year old men, and yeah. honestly, they're like boss shape. They just they, yeah, they look incredible, but they're like they're also the climbing shit, and you're watching them climb, and the men, and they're not doing anything like over the top or anything. Do you know what I mean? They're just mm. doing like basic climbing, but you're thinking you're like seventy, and you're still like yeah. Smashing it, do you know what I mean? Who's that he, guy who climbs in cowboy boots? I can't French even guy. climb my stairs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's like 70 odd. That's how you'd do it, innit? If you were. Picasso. There'd be if, like a Curio element yeah, to it. Pica- if, I, if, I, yeah, if I genuinely did make it to 70, which is unlikely. <laughs> um, there's, a guy I know, there's a guy who, go, who does like a. He does, four, years, he does, does a four mile run every morning. 78. Bare Jesus. Play. Four mile run every morning. And do you know what he says it's all down to? He eats just a raw diet. Yeah, raw. Raw doesn't, chicken. Doesn't. Well, <laughs> doesn't cook any of his food. Does he eat meat? Yeah, but he eats like steak raw and yeah, tartar. Yeah. So like eat, pure like, caveman. Wait, how old is he? Seventy-eight. I know, but you fucking out. Still not old to be like. <clears> that's <throat> the truth, is it? No, wait, seventy-eight, he, isn't it? Yeah, seventy-eight. But he does four mile run every morning. Sorry, I missed that bit. I just and he does. He does, a fucking, he does like he, he shows himself <laughs> doing this assault course that he does every morning, where he's like climbing fucking trees and stuff. Honestly, you watch it like fuck me. Like he looks. You like fair fucking play. Is yeah. that just? I'm not criticizing. I'm just intrigued. Is that just practice, though? I don't think. I think. Do, do you know what I mean? Like, got, if you be, start early got, and you're better at something, then you can do it when you look little, older, can't you? When you get older, there's little things that you can't have to get older. Joints, for example. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like your knees Mobility. aren't the same shit. Like, where it's like, if you eat better, because obviously you get to a point where it's like, oh, I could, do, I could do that, I could do that. But then you get to a point where it's like, you just fucked your body by eating shit, even if you look in good shape. Like, granted, you're, in a coat. You're still, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're still <laughs> fucking summer, aren't you? Russ. He looks shit up. Does oh, uh, your, Logan's dad? Your Logan's dad? Yeah, he does. Very look strong handshake. Mm. But he's, he was a triathlete in his day. But played a lot of football, squash, squash. Not played diet. that for years. Always had a good diet. Do you know what? My, my knees are fucked though. My, my, knees, are my, my knees are getting bad. I need some like oils or something. Like can that. you not even do anything? Real. I don't know. <laughs> Granadine and Coke. <laughs> what would you do? What would you do? 
Hypothetical. What would you do? Hypothetical. Well, what would you do? Josh, will you throw me a Maryland chocolate chip cookie, please? Yeah, man. I'm going to throw you the thing because there's not <laughs> many in there. <laughs> yeah, fire them Go on, Miles. What would you do? So, if you had thirty thousand million dollars. <laughs> Start off with this one, which I just thought was quite nice. You're given literally infinite money, all legit, no tax, but nothing. Just enjoy your life with infinite money. I thought that was quite nice. Because that's just <laughs> like a wank. good one. Right, moving on. Well, uh, no, to be fair, what would you do, Josh? Infinite money. Um, the first, What's the one first thing you'd do? F- like... The most shit up full body medical scan that you can possibly do. Get the diagnosis, get then get the prognosis. I robot, and then go from there. Because <laughs> then I need to know how long I've got left to enjoy. You know what I mean? I quite like money. the big MOT thing, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, human MOT. Just interesting. Next door. <laughs> <laughs> so moving on from the money. No way there. I want to ask everyone. It's good. Mm. Charles, it's my section, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, go. On, what do you do? What, what would the first thing you'd do? I don't know, man. The tough one, like, because it's always that with Chaz, isn't it? I don't know. It doesn't make you happy Tom? money. Do you know we'll what come mean? back, Chaz. We'll do we'll Charlie. Come. Come, come back to me. Come back right. To me. Go on, Tom. What do you do? Well, the initial thought is do something good with it, innit? Like, do you know what I mean? Go on holiday, get a new house. No, house. like, <laughs> solve no, something. just like, solve yeah. a world issue. Yeah, yeah. But I'm trying to keep it light. <laughs> let's say you can't. I don't. I don't think. I don't think. <clears throat> let's say you can't do that. It's impossible. Do you know what I mean? Um, what would I do? It's literally you can only spend it on yourself. Buy loads of clothes. Clothes. Yeah, I'd go shopping. Mm, nice. I think. Oh. Come. Oh. I'd love my mum and dad not to work. Do you know what I mean? Love to buy them oh, a car. Right, fucking make me look like a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake. Right. Isn't that the same? I'm like solving my mum and dad are working till the ninety-five, <laughs> but I'm rigged out to fuck. <laughs> rigged ninety-five. Yeah. Right. So Joe's intercepted me then, but let's no, move on. Still, no, go on, Miles. Just, it's Miles' you, section. You're with her, but you're, I you didn't said, plan on your, you just taking that bit. Your section, like, though, was, was you get given him some finished. Money. Next one. <laughs> yeah, but it's <laughs> funny, though, isn't it? Section. Yeah, I like yeah. it. So re- re- reining it in a bit. Oh, infinite. More like $2 million. <laughs> and a bunch of rocks. So Some rocks? You can take a deal. You get $2 million all up front, tax-free, Take it, leave it whenever you want. It's yours, yeah? But once an hour, every hour, for the rest of your life, a small pond of rocks appears on a random surface in your home. Do you take the deal? Pond of rocks. That's quite big, isn't it? Just, just, like, just like some rocks. as big as a lake. Yeah. So I imagine just a puddle. Let's yeah, a puddle. just like a little puddle of rocks. So do you take the deal? If so, what's your plan about like, moving and what would you do with the rocks? So further detail, to a rockery. <laughs> further details, the rocks are roughly the size that you'd see in your garden so they can be easily held in your palm. They will not spawn inside walls. It's like a fucking gamers wrote this. <laughs> yes, you may sell the rocks, but 24 rocks per day isn't going to be much money very quickly. We're not asked about money. Basically, you've got a load of rocks. You don't need, well, you just fucking take the two million and just move the rocks, don't you? If they can fit in your hand, you just throw them out every yeah. day. Yeah, so I'd, I'd, what, would said, oh, what would you do? What would you do? What would you do? Every said, hour. If someone said to me, every you go on holiday, you go on holiday, you come home, oh, fucking so up. Right, yeah, so you go you travelling, not... you go on tour, what's going to happen here? It says it everywhere you, where you are. No, no, just at home. I'd rather just live oh. the way I live now without the rocks, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point, Can't to be fair. Asked. Get in a fucking shovel and fuck off. <laughs> that is lame, that question. Who the fuck has written that? I don't know. <laughs> that's annoyed you, isn't it? Oh god, it, yeah, it's just like <laughs> now on a form, just typing it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sorry, me. So no rock. Oh, Tom, I fucking love that. Would you I, do it? Well, I yeah, I get involved and move the rocks. Yeah, just move. And them. And if I'm away, the, someone else will the move pile the rocks. Up. He, he, Joe's dad will move the rocks when I'm not yeah. there. <laughs> Give him a little fucking cut of it. Do you know mean, if you paid someone hundred grand to move rocks, they'd do it, wouldn't they? Yeah, two million won't last oh, very long, will it? I don't know. Primal scream rocks off every time you move it. <laughs> well done. Okay. Last this, one now. This one's a bit more fun. <laughs> Go on. Last one now, yeah? Plague. Plague. Your friend will pay you a hundred thousand dollars. The delivery in it. Always dollars. Why is it always money? I don't know. It's the grip and the delivery. Your friend will pay you a hundred thousand dollars. A hundred thousand dollars, but you have to pretend you don't speak English for two weeks. Do you take the challenge? Yeah, I could do that. You could, Duolingus. 
I'll see you in a <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> um, yeah, so you still have to cut about. You can't Italian you do, wouldn't you, Chaz? Because you've been doing Italian lessons. Do you know what you do? Do you know what you do there? Lessons. If it's like, say Chaz, what he's been doing Italian lessons. <laughs> lessons? For, well, Italian Duolingo lessons. Duolingo. So couldn't you take the two, a oh, hundred grand, was it? Hundred mi- hundred thousand mm. dollars. So take take the take the hundred grand, right? And just go somewhere for two week holiday. Where they don't speak English. Is it would you do get you it? We'd be like, be like right in the middle of them we're doing an album, like, right, we need to sign this off, <laughs> ring Chaz. <laughs> like, what do you think of this artwork? And then he'd be like go on, have, we'd have to like translate what he'd say. Don <laughs> it'd be doable though, wouldn't it? Yeah, easy, yeah. yeah. Spanish brother. Or Chile. <laughs> right. Sports mark, snip has to comfortable for more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna put this one here just one more because it's stupid I've done shit ones this week but I'm shit it's good New King Anouk you wake up one morning <laughs> there's a title you wake up one morning with the following information supernaturally implanted into your mind there is a nuclear bomb in a microwave somewhere on earth you don't know where it is the next time you crank your hog or anyone else's the microwave crank will be powered your hog on. oh is, hog? That wank- is that wanking yeah yeah Say that again. Crank your hog is like a euphemism for wanking. Do you not? Do, 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 yeah. So basically, every so time you have, you have to wank, give up masturbation, basically. Yeah, you yeah. just got to give up wank. But is that that's your, is that self masturbation though? Just anyone. Well, that means a nuke's gonna go off. Or something. <laughs> Someone somewhere's gonna be wanking. <laughs> <laughs> again, who the fuck? <laughs> <is that? laughs> I picked that one because it was just shit. Right, what's the next that's section? Self. Oh, we're there. Do you yeah, I've, no Miles, um, have you got a fact? Because someone has done a... No. I don't... I don't have one. Is that Josh Quay? Nice electric piano work on that. Oh, and organ. Sampling. Plagiarism. Nice. Oh, that's good, isn't it? I've already done, like, three sections. I haven't got a fact. That's from Hector Harrison. This is the fan bit. This is the so that was obviously Hector Harrison. Well, not obvious, but it, it was Hector Harrison. <laughs> Do you want me to read out his... That's obvious. <laughs> <laughs> that was so my lens, that. No, he is. Good name, um, He said, good day from Australia. <laughs> is this Mate, Hector Harrison? Is this yeah, 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 I mean, yeah, I mean not Hector Harrison. Oh, so, that, so that's sorry, he's the famous Hector Harrison. Yeah, the on. famous Hector Harrison who did the jingle for us. Good day from Australia. Nice. Nice. Good day. Hector here. Balance. I'm your biggest fan in Australia. Hector only, only, there, fucking, only fucking yeah. fan in Australia. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you always say that. <laughs> um, together with my mum, Jane, and sister. So there's three of them. Three, fan, three fans. Three nice. fans. We think you are the best band in the world. Thank Balance. you. And have all your albums and wear your t-shirts. Oh, we just haven't seen you live yet. Shipping. But we are saving up like mad to come to England and see a show. We love the podcast too. We look forward to watching it each week. Oh, That's nice. It's really nice that. Hope you like my jingle I made for you all. It's Miles, boss. give us a fact. Go on, Miles, just Google a fact now. Don't be tight. You should have pre 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 pre. <laughs> I don't have a fact. You, can Google, you just Google them fucking hypotheticals anyway. Well, just give me a minute then, because it's. <laughs> read another question, then he'll come back. I've, I've to still it. got more. Yeah. Um, I want to be a singer songwriter one day, like you guys, like you, you Tom. <laughs> Fire away the questions, for man. <laughs> <laughs> you inspire me so much. I write all my own songs, play all the instruments, and pro- and produce and mix everything I do. Magna Marco. My full name is Hector Harrison. Oh, still Hector. Fuck yeah, me. yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. And if you are able to take a listen to my latest song, Sunday Man, and tell me if you think I'm doing the right stuff, it would make my year. You got it. So yeah, I'll listen to it. We got on that. Have you any advice you can pass on to me? <clears throat> about how to make it in the music business. Just getting on a radio playlist is like wrestling a croc. That's well Australian, isn't it? <laughs> Dry is a dead thing. I do reckon it's the same? I don't even know how it works Probably anymore. Probably anyway. bigger over there. Um, I hope to be on the same bill as you at a festival or one day something, or one day. Hope hope to be on the same bill as you one day at a festival or something. Fuck, me up. Fuck that up, didn't I? Maybe you can come to Australia to perform. Would... Also love to know if your doggos have favourite <laughs> toys and treats. Keep everything crossed and hope you read this. To catch a wave over and out, Hector, Tilly Bell and Jane. It was like a message in a bottle, that one. Yeah. Oh, it was really nice, it was nice that. that. The, mus- 
music industry thing's weird. It, there's no you, set. Actually, there's no one set route, is you, there? You might have sent this to me. There's, the, I saw a TikTok where it was like blossoms, and it was like I think it was like bands that have. What, I can't remember what the the gist of it was, but it was like basically like bands who have who lie about being working class or whatever. Mm. Uh, well, what, we were on it? Yeah, we were on it. And he said, Blossoms, he said, <laughs> guitarist Josh's dad's a music professor and, and got them a record deal. <laughs> Is that what it says? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that he did. <laughs> it made me laugh that though. I was like, it's just so far from... People don't know it was on TikTok. Yeah. I'm yeah, bringing my dad into it. It made, made me laugh. Oh. Oh, cool. Well, do you know what the thing Not is, though, I suppose, cool. if, if you're outside of it, yeah, people right. don't know you the full story. You, you no. no one don't know knows no one's full story, does it? It fucking doesn't work like that, though. I wish it did. Imagine if that is, and anyone's like, as soon as like your dad's like, does anything in music, it's like, get him in. His dad's, his dad's a music teacher. He can get him a record deal. <laughs> like every music teacher in yeah. the England is connected to a record label. Sure, his dad works at HMV. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a deal. My dad was a market trader. It's, it's, funny, it's gone it? drama now, hasn't it? I, I, I find I find that hilarious. Ding 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 ding. Any more of those da, questions? Da, oh, there's loads. Da. Any quick ones? Quick fire. <laughs> They're all. I like the one. Well, this is different. It's not on from the email. It was just from that story thing I put up. Um, just asking how people are. I sent it to you guys. I just thought before. It just said I've just dropped my phone on my bollocks, so I've been better. Uh, what <laughs> else was the? Everyone's saying. A lot of people asked about Pubcast Live. Oh, yeah, we should do that. Which is interesting, I thought. Because we have done it once at, in London. We can support ourselves at Wuthering Shore Park. <laughs> yeah, I've got, I've got a good one here. We, got, we had a lot of people asking yeah, about that. Yeah, we should that. sort that. What's that? A live podcast. Live. podcast. Maybe, yeah, I think, maybe I think, when the album's ready. I think if there's enough people who want it, we'll do it. And maybe we'll just do like a small one in one day, man, like night and day or something. Oh, there's an acoustic in the corner as well. Oh, let's not do that. Negative um, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is from Jack Evans. The subject, help, I fancy Tom. I said that in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hi, lads. Loving the podcast. One of my main components of a weekly breakdown in the uni library. Cheers. Um, I come to you with a bit of a predicament. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Early this uni year, I You're met my... Me laugh, <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Early this uni year, I met my first girlfriend... Not the predicament. She's well cool and I love her loads. And I was actually wearing a Blossoms top the night we first properly met. However, I'm bisexual and told her I used to fancy Tom. And I think he is the best looking in the band. Oh, fucking nice one. Fucking hell. <laughs> yes. Everyone's got their own taste. Everyone likes joking, everyone. Though, she's, enough. she's now laughed at me consistently since I told her how do I end this suffering. Any tips? Also, I was off topic, but I'm a big fan of the knitwear Charlie sports in many episodes. Where does he get them from? All the best, fellas. Homemade. Where's it from, Chas? Well, you can buy needles from Hobbycraft, can't you? Yes. You can get you yarn from the local farm. <laughs> no, no, this one's um, actually Beams Plus. Japanese. Love, love a bit of Beams. Uh, the other one's Beams Plus. Uh, bright, couple of second hand numbers. Yeah. It's bright, so isn't This it? one's Beams. So you go, what, what about his predicament? His girlfriend's giving him grief, basically, because he says... But see, my brain goes, is she giving him grief? As in, like... Why the fuck do you fancy him? Sort of thing. Oh, Do you know what I mean? I've got a nice one. I think it's more funny, isn't it? No, that's not a predicament, is it? I don't think laugh, so. Isn't it? You fancy other people, can't you? Yeah. You're an attractive guy, Tom. I think I Thanks. fancy you a bit, probably. It's a celebrity crush, isn't it? <laughs> My celebrity crush is Tom. <laughs> E-list. E e it's an E-list e celebrity, celebrity crush. <laughs> a to Z, what, who's on your list? <laughs> Sweet. May I? May you. Please. <clears throat> January. May Mayo. Hello Blossoms boyos, I have recently, sorry I should have said the subject, subject line is, I've got a bone to pick with you. Ooh. It's in that flask. <laughs> I've recently taken a cheeky trip to my local HMV and was having a nice stroll through the aisles looking at some nice CDs. This is where I saw the little black name card and the word Blossoms on it. I thought, ooh, I'll have a cheeky look through there and was like, hmm, those look good. Bearing in mind I visit HMV quite a lot and just loiter around not planning to buy anything because they never seem to stock any catfish on the bottom and CDs. This day I was feeling a bit adventurous. Long story short, I am now a proud owner of all your albums. So you owe me 40 quid. Thank you. Storm. That's nice, isn't it? Nice. You know, 40 what, quid for what, all why is it saying bones to pick for you? Because I think we, cause she spent 40 she quid. She spent 40 quid. <clears throat> but, you know, rather than like go on to a streaming 
It's nice so, to own things, Yeah, to get the physical. Someone's gone into a record shop and discovered us through that. That's cool. Oh, I, I, I think I'm um, about out of touch with the prices of fucking records, you know. I went into HMV just cutting about. Tenor an album, though. Saw hours. It was like fucking 30 quid for the fucking lockdown one. Yeah, there yeah. is two albums worth on there, though, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, that's one of vinyl as Yeah, and it's vinyl. I was just like, you buying, you're buying, like, the product, aren't you? Like, you know, Vi- the, product, the product. The sleeve notes the product, the product. And the and stuff Vi- like that. Vinyls yeah. are like, they're not, they, you don't do that many numbers of them. So when you, like, I bought a Beatles vinyl. The other day, it's like you pay not hundred or quid for them. Do you know what I mean? Like a, an original press and stuff like that. If you're into it, you can get well into it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So Collectibles. thirty quid, it's it's worth it, isn't it? Mm. That's why you know, like the Blood Records ones and stuff like mm. that. Like, yeah, they're cool. They're a bit they? more expensive, but obviously you get them because you're like, oh god. They like, made like a thousand of them or something. Cool. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's cool to own stuff like that. It's like a gimmick. Nice that though. Thanks, Storm. Thank you. Nice Thank one, you. Yeah. I like that. It's a cool name, Storm as well, isn't it? Mm. Thank you. There's another. Yeah, someone's done a, a podcast jingle. Do you want to wear it? Please. Yeah. This is from. Oh, I, I'm so shit. You need text to speech, Kane? don't you? Kane? Kaney? Kane. Kane. Kane Lee Pollitt. Kane is just, it's spelt with um, an I in there. An I in there. Me. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, had, he's had you over there. <laughs> I will never be inserting that into our podcast again. <laughs> also, it's, it's Blossom's no. podcast, not podcast. That's, oh, that's, that's the only thing that I'll add. Well, do you know what? That was nice. That. Well, I actually think we should probably we should probably drop the podcast oh, because it's someone else did it's it. It's not in a pub anymore. No, it's not anymore. What? Just call it the Blossom's podcast. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Hmm. The podcast was like. When we were in a pub and... But the theme says podcast, though. And I like the, the email's yeah. podcast. Can't be asked changing that. Fair, yeah. So keep we're not... Yeah. thought that was quite good. Yeah. Uh, negative YouTube comment of the week. Got a couple. You got it. So the first one is us at Transmit Festival 2021. Um, Adam Fuller, 6618, said, didn't know Ginny Weasley was in a band. <laughs> 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 Referring to me. Adam Fuller shit. <laughs> nice. Quick. Do you know what? I don't mind that. I get it quite a lot. Ginny Weasley. Well, the Weasley I've had it, well, not quite a lot, like every day, but it's Ginny a couple Weasley. of times Harry a year. Potter. Ginny Weasley is a funny one, though. Is what it is, isn't it? It is what, what it is. is. Um, another hot fish sixty nine. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that is class. That <laughs> uh, Tom Ogden sounds as flat as a pancake. <laughs> you stink like a fishy dick. <laughs> and then so I'm cool. just gonna go for a few fast ones because it's just funny, isn't it? Why not? Um, this is. I think I. So this is actually on Instagram. Same thing. Oh no, TikTok this, sorry. This is me and Finley singing to do list acoustic out, out there. there. And Escape UK said Wimp Pop. <laughs> <laughs> wimp. wimp pop. I've not heard someone called be called a wimp, wimp for years. Remember wimp. Wimpy? Wimpy fries. And wakey Nobed said <laughs> You're seeing like Spain or somewhere now, don't you? Yeah. Wakey Nobed said average. So there you nice. go. There's a couple. Usernames are fucking weird aren't they you know yeah Fish like 69 Fish class, 69 is boss <laughs> I love that to be fair <laughs> <laughs> I think we should call the podcast Fish 69 this one that's oh, fucking mint 69 <laughs> fucking wakey hell wakey knobhead do you think that's Wakefield yeah yeah you've got wakey, wakey wines there aren't wakey. they wakey wakey, wakey knobhead that's fucking well funny yeah any other segments? I have a, a fish no. you, could, you could fly through mine this this time because it was a bit it's a bit different this one. Right, oh shit! Yeah, yeah. Still- you, can, you can fly through this one. The king's microphone. So um, I didn't I couldn't actually get a hold of the one that was suggested. What was it? Howl's Moving Castle. Oh. Yeah. Just, I've got various te- technical issues going on, which made it a bit more difficult to get. But having said that, I think you might be all very impressed. I went to the cinema the other day. Oh, have you oh. seen the new Studio Ghibli film? 
No. Oh. No, no, it's nothing to. I, I've, I've fr- you know what? I've taken, I've taken the segment on board and I've been freestyling. Well, he's, no, he's, he's, not, he's not done that because he's not a gimp. <laughs> no, he's not a He's a boy in the heron. A boy in the heron. <laughs> oh, your face dropped there. Things I am a gimp. Joking. Four eyes. That's <laughs> 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 old too, man. So year nine. I'm 50. Sorry. Like, that was no, shit. Sorry, Joe. Who's the brain ticking that one to say to you? I just, yeah. Class. It's fucking shit. I feel. You know what? I actually feel it's guilty right, as, an, as an almost thirty-year-old man saying that. I'm sorry. Oh, I, no, I, today. That. I took the piss yeah. out of you. You can take so the piss out of me. It. You the are shoes. proper beatnik today. <laughs> what are you all about here? The, the insult and the, and the outfit. Cheers, man. I was fucking class. That I loved it. <sighs> no, I, I gave you shit. You can give me shit back. Yeah, so it works. An eye for an eye. But uh, like I said, uh, so I've been I've been freestyling the segment a little nice. bit so instead of being like chained to my this? list. I mean, like. I want to I'll actually watch. enjoy yeah, yeah, films. Yeah, yeah. Nice, yeah. So, um, I, I, I saw. I put, that's another thing. When I put that story up, I got load, fucking hundreds of people saying, "Have you seen Saltburn? Have you seen Saltburn?" We briefed. I think we talked about it a bit. But oh, I haven't yeah. seen that. Yeah. But yeah. and but what I saw in the at the at the cinema was the Priscilla. Ooh, I want to yeah. watch that. It's ah, great. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so maybe I won't say too much then. No, no. Tell me bits and bobs. Uh, yeah, jokes. I, I, no, I, I no spoilers. As it is a new Jacob film. Lordy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I won't, I, I won't he's think... in fucking everything now, him, isn't he? Well, is that is that the guy yeah, that's the guy who plays Saltburn. Elvis? Yeah, yeah. But and so he's the Saltburn, Saltburn. Yeah, yeah. guy. But uh, yeah, it's, it was no, it's Austin interesting. Butler play. Oh, is he play Elvis it's in the fucking everything? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thing. yeah he's, he's in fucking everything it, yeah. now. So, but I, I have not actually seen the Austin Butler Elvis one. Right. But I, I, I admittedly knew nothing about Priscilla's side of the story or anything like mm. that. So, but yeah, her side of the story just didn't expect it at all. So, yeah, definitely go and see it. But. And then what else did I say? I've, I've it's been... Sophia Coppola, isn't it? Yes. Who directed it. Yeah. Did, who did the Chanel... Um, yeah, and oh, Lost in Translation. translation yeah. But no, the, uh, but the... Yeah, sorry, yeah. But, um, the Chanel um, reel, didn't she? Yeah, for, for thingy. thingy. But uh, yes, and then I saw... Watched Mean Girls the other day. That's that boss. The OG. Nice. Yeah, That's so funny. Oh. Boss yeah, it's genius. That yeah. was really funny. Fucking hell. Uh, so you're like watching films just like... Yeah, this was chilling. the mission of the... This was the MO yeah. of this segment and I it's worked. I watched... Uh, and this is this is for my own thing. Like last night, um, I watched uh, the Pick of Destiny again because I've yeah. not seen it for nostalgia. About ten. Weirdly, I was, I, he's on TV. I watched it the other day. How was it? Yeah. I, was, I was playing along with it, and it was very nostalgic. But anyway, that that's my little. I'm not. I don't have any stupid things to say. That, well, than, next one then. Pick a film for yourself. Yeah, I'm gonna freestyle. Yeah, freestyle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, nice. Do you know what? Actually, <laughs> Tom, Tom told me a series to watch, which I fucking love. Uh, oh yeah, Slow Horses. Oh, Gary. Ne- yeah. uh, Gary Newman. Gary Oldman. <laughs> have you gotten it? I've watched a couple of them. They're it's really good. Fucking class. Yeah. Really, if you haven't got Apple TV, that's well yeah. worth mm. watching that one. It's fucking mint. What, what else has been? Have you ever seen that film we want? No. No. It, everyone's going mad about it, aren't they? Was oh, like, it a film or a series? It's a series. Everyone's going mad. Not mad. Yeah. It's just like the number one on the thing, but it, yeah. It, yeah, it's, it's all right. It's quite cozy to watch. It's quite funny. It's, it's filmed at um, Arley Hall. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, I've seen the. For it, I've heard yeah, about it. Now you said that, we did yeah. a music video. We said we might release this one day. Yeah, an unseen video. It's been rinsed down it all on it for stuff. Yeah, we we did um Blow Rose music video. Yeah, we did we did it there with Danny, with Tom's BAFTA award-winning cousin. Mm. But it he, wasn't. We hired a steady cam and no one could operate it apart from me. Yeah, and you had to be in it, so <laughs> it didn't work. So we never used the well, video. Those early music videos where it's just like you just lip like lip syncing us just walking in the background like that, just slow mo. <laughs> yeah. Boss, it? What we're gonna do for our next music videos? Just, just do this. Me- oh shit, to music videos. I mean, I I really can to do this one, to do this one was good. I don't see that weirdly. Really. I don't see them as music videos because we do. What Your girlfriend just, was boss. Just, just, enjoy them with an original idea now, isn't it? It's yeah. A lot of people, a lot of ideas, a lot of media, including this. See you next week. Yeah. What is Blossoms Podcast at Gmail? <laughs> What's that? At gmail.com. <laughs> See ya. It's a blush with podcast. 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 Live from Blossoms HQ.